Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can handle add to cart to open the mini cart as well as the product modifier in the mini cart. So here is what I have done behind the scene and I will show you the code behind it and how I did it. There is a lot more complexity behind it, so I try to make it as simple as possible. For example, if I'm adding a product to the cart from the product page, let's say add to cart, it should open the mini cart and it should give us a notification. Maybe you can get rid of the notification. But this is showing here also the product quantity should show here one is the decrease and the other one will increase the product quantity if the product quantity is let's say three and we have no more in stock it should give us a notification of no more in stock here and it should not let us add more product to this stock so this is what you will learn in this video also as you can see it is very reactive as soon as i add a product to the cart it is going to open the mini cart here and it will close it at the same time so this is what we are going to learn in this video and this is the holiday season so i am trying to finish this series before january so i can start the new series on january 2020 so i hope i can do it so let's just start dive deep into the code so if i come here for uh, first of all how you open a mini cart as soon as you add product to the cart and it is showing here let's handle let's see how we handle the add to cart here if I come to the product form, you know this one from the Vue.js. So if I come to the Vue.js, this is the product form selector and this is our form. And if someone click add to cart, it just send the product ID, the variant ID as well as the quantity, right? So this is the function add to cart. And this function is called when someone click add to cart. You can check out the code and the product form uh, template. But for now, this is what it is going to do. Send an Ajax request to add to cart.js. With the form data form data is exactly what we had so that's fine after the successful return what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a mini card that's it before i open a mini card i have documented the code so if you are going to check out the code on github everything is documented well so you can read it through the code if you do not understand first of all i will check if the product already exists so do not add it to the array list we have here this is an array of product we have here if it is already there do not add it just increase the quantity this will increase the quantity uh, from what we have in here for example if you have two of them here and it is going to be us 9 with a green color which is this one it should add three of them add to the cart three of them will be added here so that is how it is going to work so fine otherwise just add another one and you are using and shift and shift is the same as push but push is adding pro an item to the to array at the end of it so and shift is adding it at the beginning of it that's why we need the product to be at the top so that is how you use and shift after that just open the mini card i have called a function here there is an issue here the reason i call the function i have defined the function myself down there i will explain it if you are using bootstrap there is an issue in bootstrap the issue is uh, if you open mini card with javascript according to the documentation of bootstrap they say like via javascript if you come to the mini uh, like drop down here and if you are going to use the drop down show here it will open it but it is not closable it is a bug by bootstrap i have tried to search online how to fix this one but there is no fix but here is how i fix this one i create a function first of all i manually use jquery since i have jquery in my file otherwise you can add this one using pure javascript also add a class of show to the mini card and also any of the child which has a drop down menu add another card uh, close to the mini the drop down menu also and remove this one this one is important and this is the actual bug behind it there is a class in bootstrap so if i check out here for you in the code let's see this is the drop down we have this one drop down item tax text here so this text if it has a clause of show then this form will become unclosable i don't know if that is a bug or something by bootstrap but if you are adding it using the javascript from here it will add that clause here so i don't want to add that one i just remove this one from here manually so that fixed my issue and it opened mini card and you know after successfully doing that this function will be called this is the default one so you can uh just check out the code if you uncomment this one and uh, comment this one to check if this is 
exactly what I am saying that this one is not working, which provided by Bootstrap. So that's fine for now. Now let's check out the next functionality, increase and decrease of this one. You can check out the code also in GitHub. So if I come to the mini card, here is where those items are. The quantity are here. First of all, I use the pure like Bootstrap design. So this is going to be the prepend and this is the append, which increase the product and decrease this one. It will pass the item on click, they will call a function. These functions are written in the minicard.js. So if I come to minicard.js, here is the increase and here is the decrease. If it, it will take the item if it already exists in my cart, which should be already here. And it is going to check the quantity of it. If it is greater than zero, then minus this one. So th call this function. This is the update function. This one is updating our cart in Shopify also. It will uh, send a minus number and it can accept like two parameters basically. If it is positive number, it will add it. If it is negative number, it will uh, just minus it. So if I check out the uh, function here, item, this function, update cart will accept two parameters. It will take the quantity and put it here and it will pass it to the change.js. Here is the important point. Why I use change.js? You can check out the Shopify documentation on uh, Ajax API on change.js. Change.js is the only Shopify API that you can trust and it is going to check if the product already is, is out of stock or not. So here is the uh, what I mean. If I come here, it is a Shopify bug actually, but you can get around this one somehow, but I don't know how you do this one. I said this product has three in stock. Why it has five now? If I add one more, I can add more of them, right? This is a bug by Shopify. So here is how you can fix this one. First of all, I will remove this product completely from my cart and let's check out if I am wrong or right. For example, this one, I add more, it is not adding. Which one is this? US8 Blue. I can add to this one using my cart here. Let's check it out. 8 Blue, if I add one more here, add to the cart, it open it and it add it here, for here. The reason behind this one is because if you are using the cart here, let's check out, if I'm using add to cart and I'm sending a request to the add.js, it can add it to the cart and it will increase the quantity even if it is out of stock. For example, if I add more of this to this 8 blue, add to cart, as you can see it did add, it didn't give us any error because it didn't notice, it didn't increase it. Now if I refresh it, it's still it is 6 here, as you can see. That is a Shopify bug, but you can fix it around, I don't know how you do it, but there are some ways. And if I uh, do this one in the video but it is going to be a little long so you can find out how you can fix that issue but that is a Shopify bug so for now it is just fine but if you increase this one now this will be solved if you go to the checkout if you go to the checkout Shopify will tell you that this product is out of stock so you cannot purchase this one you can come back to the cart and it will fix it for you but it is not a good idea as you can see it is 2 it is 3 while it was 7 this one was seven, but Shopify just minus that one for you. So now I'll come back to my cart here. And as you can see, it did add three here. So it is fine for now. Shopify fixed that on the checkout, but it is not a good user experience if you check out like more product, but in the checkout you go and see you do not have it and it is out of stock. So that is something that you have to know how it is going to work. The next thing that you have to know is the process of mini cart and how it is going to compare the products first of all i get the current product and the new product the current one is what we have in the user uh, side the new one will come the new one from the response so make sure you can the way you check it if the quantity is greater than zero it means if uh, the user is adding one more to the item and the current item uh, that quantity is equal to the new item so if both of them are the same so obviously it didn't add something new right so if the quantity has changed then this warning will not show otherwise if mm, if this is like minus or the quantity is not to the same it means they have added something to the cart you can just notify them that the product was added to the cart and you can add one more to the quantity so this is how it is going to work behind the scene i hope it has been informative 
thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video so we will focus more on pricing in the next video you will learn about view filter uh, which is similar to shopify filters but it is very handy how you can use uh, more of computer properties and how you can calculate the values for now if you are uh, like adding more quantities to them they are not updating here especially the, the total one so it should update and it should show the price in dollar not cents so that's what we do in the next video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video